it's weird. It's not profitable. I don't believe that defense is profitable because when I watch my some of my friends, or not my friends, but people on the internet, these aren't my friends. I don't know why I'm saying that, but these are people on the internet just saying like this game's boring. <laughs> Cincinnati and Tennessee. This game's yeah. boring. Really? Because that was a that was an over or that was a game that was decided at the last second by a field goal. And it was under 20 points, but no team scored more than 20 points in that game. But you had a really good defensive battle. Joe Burrow sacked nine times in that game. Incredible. You know, I mean, all that all that stuff. I enjoyed that game a lot. And I just wonder if the NFL will ever try to you know, you have if, if if you let it occur nat- naturally, almost like a Darwin type aspect where NFL players become faster and, you know, defense catches up with offense. I just wonder if rules get implemented to never get away from that. Because once you tease these fans, especially when you itemize everything like fantasy football, you know, uh, it's all offense. Right. I want touchdowns and all that stuff. I, I wonder. Yeah. I just wonder in the NFL. Now, I wonder if college can just. If college just decides to not become this vehicle for the NFL, they could they could stunt this, I think. But I think if college college is just so partnered with the NFL that they have to produce these insane offensive specimen. So that's that's what I'm scared of. That's the black pill, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been in the kind of in the works. Did you see? You just saw that UCLA gave uh, let Edron James run for 299 yards, and so far today, Ron Dane has 217 or something. Uh, yeah, and they just showed like all time worst. Yeah, it's just a fucking nightmare. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we're all kind of like, uh, we're all like addicted to more and more stimulation from everything. Right. As time goes on, we we demand, uh, we're demanding more scoring, more this, more that, more speed. Um, um, and like, I don't, I feel like the, obviously there's something lot. There's so it's bore what I, I I find it boring when I watch like Texas Tech. Yeah, I oh, watch yeah. some of those Big Twelve games where it's just like everyone is spread out five wide, and it's just it basically just becomes a game of ca- like catch at that point. It's like you're playing, you're playing catch, you're tossing. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't feel like the game that we all got excited by with big hits and where a big play is is a big deal. It's like oh shit. You know, it got it got kind of boring when it's like that yeah. streamlined into a into a fully uh, horizontal game, um, and and like f- fully stretched out game. And I feel like what we really the mo- the most fun is like this perfect this perfect balance where it's like I was saying before, where the good play, where good offense is still looks it looks it has a novelty to it, like it looks fresh it's exciting if it's just normal if it's like if it's if it's going to be a 70 to 63 game that might be great because you don't see that very often but when that becomes a norm and you're just expecting a track meet type of performance and the the player the plays lose their drama so i would guess that that it'll somehow even out again as it kind of did after the first offensive explosion uh in the nfl and then the next offensive explosion in the nfl so far things have evened out uh as long as you know, in the NFL, talent is socialized uh, still relative to college. And college is just like, you know, Alabama is going to be great until right. Saban retires, maybe even after they get all the talent. Um, but in the NFL, you kind of see – you also have to have the players to, to do this shit. And not, a lot of times teams don't uh, for long periods of time, yeah. you know. I mean, Mahomes is just really good. Yeah, it's the problem. And, you know, to be fair, had had, had we stopped the Texas Tech psyop that you were saying, we, maybe we don't get Patrick Mahomes, you know, at that point. Maybe we don't. Maybe if we – the Big True. 12, the, the I think the Big 12 was the testing ground for the modern NFL, and I'd like to do a, a, a special on that sometime. I think the Big 12, this <laughs> this, this Texas Tech against uh, Oklahoma State, uh, uh, you know, 64 to 58 yeah. game – you know, so you're saying maybe... Mike Leach's MK Ultra plan from the CIA, basically. Correct, because look how he did in the SEC this year. It didn't work. You know, what I mean, he, no. he they're they're getting rid of him. This is the joke. Mike Leach going to Mississippi State and shitting the bed is like Joe Pesci walking into that room realizing he's going to get whacked in Goodfellas. Yeah, like it's very much like okay, my work here is done. Hey guys, if you like what you see in the video and want to see more, go ahead and click the link in the description. That's Patreon.com/slash The Back Wall. Filthy Armenian and I are going to be doing lots of classic games. We'd love for you to join us. Again, that's patreon.com slash the back wall.